All right, so uh, feeling a little under the weather, so I'm probably gonna get back to AOIME later. I decided to go ahead and do another request, which was the 2010 AMC 10B problem number one. I wanted to get something filmed this week, and I haven't had a lot of time to do so. Uh, in the summers, I'm working about 10 or 11 hour days of teaching, and by the time I get done, my voice is really kind of raw from talking straight all that time with a small break in the middle. So it makes it kind of hard to film if I want to be able to work the next day efficiently and well. So, uh, sorry about the lack of video production this week. Anyhow, uh, getting to the 2010 AMC 10B problem number one. What is 100 times this expression minus that? I mean, you're just calculating. Don't get too fancy. Um, one mistake you could make is you might think 100 times 100 minus 3 minus 100 times 100 minus 3 is 0. As long as you're careful, you won't make that mistake. Uh, go ahead and distribute this, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to make that 97. I'm just going to do 100 times 100 minus 100 times 3 minus this minus now, uh, 100 times 100 minus a negative 3, which is plus 3. And so what happens is the 100 times 100s cancel, and this is negative 300 plus 3, which is negative 297. All right, continuing with the 2010 AMC 10B problem two, which was the 12B problem one, Michaela attended two meetings during her nine hour workday. The first meeting took 45 minutes and the second meeting took twice as long. What percent of her workday was spent attending meetings? So it needs to be this out of nine times 60, because that's minutes, right? Um, and you want this to be equal to P over 100. Uh, notice we didn't make this 540. That's so that you can divide in. 9 goes into here 5 times and here 10 times. So you get 15 over 60, which is clearly 1 fourth. And everybody should know that's 25%. All right, continuing on with the 2010 AMC 10B problem number 3. A drawer contains red, green, blue, and white socks with at least two of each color. What is the minimum number of socks that must be pulled from the drawer to guarantee a matching pair? Now, usually this is called pigeonhole principle. That's what most people call it online. People who came before me and gave it a name. I kind of call it uh, the worst case scenario. And why do I call it worst case scenario? Well, pretend that you are drawing the socks out of the drawer, right? And your objective, what you want, is to get a matching pair. I mean, why would you want a non-matching pair, right? But you have the worst luck ever. And because you have the worst luck ever, you're going to probably have the worst case scenario. And so pretend that you win when you get the matching pair. Then what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is you get one red, one green, one blue, and one white, giving you four socks, none of which match. That's the worst case scenario. Now on the next sock that you draw out, it must be one of these colors that you already have one of, which will give you a matching pair. Five is the answer. Okay, and now for the 2010 AMC 10B problem four. For a real number x, define heart symbol x to be the average of x and x squared. A lot of kids used to get really freaked out by this. Most of you are probably pretty comfortable because they're like, oh, I've never seen that. Who cares? No one's seen it. It's no different than saying f of x equals the average of x and x squared. You could say it that way too, but they just use a heart symbol instead. It means absolutely nothing outside of this problem. So nobody else knew what it was before reading that either. So there's no reason to panic. You're equipped with exactly as much knowledge as anybody else. What is the function evaluated for one plus the function evaluated for two plus the function evaluated for three? There's two ways you could do it. You could plug them in one at a time, sure. Man, that won't take that long actually. Uh, one plus one over two plus two plus four over two plus three plus nine over two, giving you uh, two over two is one, six over two is three, 12 over two is six. For most of you, or some of you at least, this should be recognized. These are the triangular numbers. Well, why would that be? Well, it's simple. If we factor out x, we will get x plus one over two. This is the triangular number, right, formula. 
So if you have uh, the sum of 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus x, it's equal to this. You can use an arithmetic series formula on it, and they're called triangular numbers. Why? Because when you have 1, there's 1. When you have 3, that's 1 plus 2. You put a row of 2, and now you have a triangle of dots. And 6 is 1 plus 2 plus 3. You just add 3 dots, and you still have a triangle. Okay, so that's why they're called triangular numbers. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. All right, now for the 2010 10B problem number 5, which was also the 12B problem 4. A month with 31 days has the same number of Mondays and Wednesdays. How many of the 7 days of the week could be the first day of this month? Just be careful not to mess this one up. It's not too hard. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday... Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, you probably have done some calendar problems before, and my recommendation is always to make this list and work with it. Uh, you should know from 31 days that there's 28 days, and those 28 days are all going to have the same, but the 29th, 30th, and 31st will each occur five times in that month. So if we made Monday the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, then eventually if you add 7, you will get 8, 15, 22, 29, and this one will be 31. So Monday and Wednesday would have the same if Monday was the first day of the month. But if I move the 1 over to Sunday, the Wednesday's 3 will move to Tuesday, and now Monday will still have 5 days, but Wednesday won't. So the trick is we need to get this third day over to Sunday. So if Sunday is the third, then the Saturday will be the second, and Friday the first, that's no problem. Because 4th, 5th, 6th, the other 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th days of the first week will only occur four times. Because it's only the first, second, and third that occur five times. Um, so Friday will work, as will Thursday as the first. We can't make Wednesday the first, because then it would have five, and Monday would only have four. So there's one, two, three days that can be the first of the month.